Ireland, the beginning of the tournament and an interesting matchup featuring teams from the Southern Conference and the ACC Terrapins of Maryland. Well, the ACC against the Southern Conference indeed, Kevin, and Davidson is a high-powered offensive group, seventh in the country in scoring. Five players from foreign countries on this team. Maryland very hot, seven of their last eight in the ACC games. They got an at-large bid. Ibekwe inside. The tap-in try won't go by Ibekwe. And out of bounds and Davidson, the Southern Conference champions will take it. There's a look at Bob McKillop, fourth NCAA appearance. And for the Maryland Terrapins, Gary Williams, the all-time winningest coach in the history of Maryland basketball. You know, Bob McKillop, one of the early guys in college basketball, getting foreign players to come to his school. Davidson plays like a European team. They spread you out, love the three, push it up quickly, and they will play some matchup zone. This was the top scoring team in the Southern Conference at over 82 points a game with the hook shot inside. Minnow can't get it. And the Terrapins the other way in a hurry. DJ Strawberry, his dad, of course, Daryl Strawberry, the famous Major League Baseball player. Nice pass inside, ending up with two quickly a Beckway. Curry. Missing the three. Strawberry grabs the ball, and a loose one it is, and Davidson corrals it inside with a little fake, and two inside for Boris Minow from Paris, France. We do have a genetic game here, Kevin. Strawberry, you mentioned his dad, the famous baseball player, Del Curry's son, Stefan, the leading scorer for Davidson. Boy, a Beckway went crashing into the defense of Thomas Sander, the junior, and he is down now quickly on an opening drive with... About a minute and a half gone. And Sander, who is a junior from Cincinnati, and the leader of this defense for the Wildcats of Davidson in obvious pain. Sander steps in on a Beckway right here, gets plenty of time. Beckway almost jumps over his head. And you land on that bone right at the top of your rear end. That is a painful place. You can never land easily back there, can you? There is no easy landing spot in well, that area. Well, some people have a lot more cushioning back yes. there than others, and Sander not of that variety, of course, being a fine college athlete. He has to come out of the game on a situation like that where he's attended to, Kevin, so that's why he's on the bench. Andrew Lovedale will check in in his place, the sophomore from Nigeria. He's got the ball right here, went to high school in England, and here comes Davidson. 29 and four record, 17 in one in the Southern Conference. Wow. There's an offensive foul. It was a screen set up inside, and it goes on Lovedale, who just took the place of the injured Thomas Sanders. Interestingly enough, both teams trying to press one another, get a feel right here. Pressure can be used to speed up the game or slow it de down, depending on what type of pressure you use. I expect that Davidson, they're in man now, but I, I expect you're going to see a lot of matchup zone from them. Vasquez tried to shove it inside to a Beckway. Here comes Jason Richards. And a long three-point shot is doused by Richards, the junior from Barrington, Illinois. That is their game, Kevin. Push it up quick. Shoot threes before the defense can get set. They've shot, they've made 318 on the year. Curry has made 117 of those. Vasquez from Venezuela in a long range shot. Will not go in from the wing and that was hoisted up by Mike Jones out of Massachusetts. Quickly in the break, the defense backs up. The three point shot is available and Richards takes advantage that time. Gary Williams, an advocate of pressure defense. We're seeing a 2-2-1 here and a little man to man as well. Davidson comes in having won 13 consecutive games and 25 of their last 26 games played. They are one of the hottest teams coming into the tournament and a three by Curry won't go. One of the top three-point shooters in college basketball. Strawberry to Jones inside. A great two-on-one. Strawberry the assist. That's the way you finish fast break situations. Two-on-one, make the defense come to you. Jones gets that foul. He's an excellent shooter as well. Gary Williams, of course, won the 2002 National Championship, beat Indiana by two points in that great game in Atlanta. 
and they have been absent from the dance the last two years. Thomas Sander has come back in for Davidson. He took that hard fall in the opening minutes of the game, but he is back in right now. Here is Curry and Sander. Richards. And you move that ball from side to side with the two here by Richards missing the shot. Curry gets it back. And then a long-range shot won't go in right there by Gosling. Look at the hustle by Minow. And Sander, the fall on him. There is a foul. It's inside on the Maryland Terrapins. This is great fortitude on the part of the Wildcats. Maryland, a much more athletic team right here, but Minow finds a way to get the shot off. Sander, after being on the bench, shows his hustle. Davidson keeping the ball alive on the offensive boards. Not what you would expect against a superior athletic team in the Terrapins. Bickway has just picked up his second personal foul. That is a three by Curry. He led all of college basketball freshmen in three-point hits, setting an NCAA record. Unbelievable. And, of course, we all know who Kevin Durant is, the great freshman at Texas. Curry was the second leading scorer freshman-wise to Durant in the nation this year. Says a lot. Absolutely. Del Curry was his dad, the great player for the Hokies at Virginia Tech. Strawberry with the miss. Osby picks it up and puts it in inside. Osby is from Richmond, Virginia. He's got his first two. Curry again for three. Boy, looks so much like his dad when he releases that ball. Look at the hustling play inside by Minnow. And now Strawberry. And a three on two. Takes it inside. Retrieves his own miss. Strawberry again. Knock it down. Count it for two and a foul. So Strawberry will be at the free throw line for the Terps. Number 18 in the AP poll. Three point play by Strawberry. Biggest news so far from Maryland is they got one of the top players in foul trouble. Here's a great steal by Jones, who slides in for another two. And now Davidson the other way. They brought in William Archambault. Long range shot by Sander. And that's out of bounds. So far in rebounding, it's uh, Davidson plus three. Defensive prowess, Maryland's signature. And of course, Jones taking the ball strong to the basket on the steal. That was a different kind of press. Guy guarding the ball instead of a 2-2-1. Two, two, two different kinds of presses for the Terps so far. Last appearance in the tournament for Maryland, 2004. And a little layup inside goes up and in. Vasquez has two. The thing about Davidson, they can get behind and get right back in it quickly because of their three-point shooting. One of the top ten scoring teams in college basketball is Davidson. Will Bowers in the game right now, the seven-footer. He is developing nicely, but unfortunately, he's a senior. Gary Williams talked to us yesterday about him. He's going to have to play a lot of minutes with a Beck way out. One of the tallest players in the ACC as well. So Osby is in there. Bowers just comes in the game. Vasquez will throw to Bowers. Good thing he was seven foot on that one, huh? <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I thought you were catching that one. Every inch. <laughs> Strawberry remains in the game, as does Jones. That's the tear up in five. Bowers inside, and he was rejected nicely by Lovedale of Davidson. Shot clock at 17. Little athleticism on the part of Lovedale here. Jones into Lovedale. That's a traveling violation. Bryant Barr has also come in for Davidson. And a quick foul. Vasquez picks it up for the Terrapins. And the first on him. Vasquez is an interesting player from Venezuela. A lot of people think of Manu Ginobili because of his style of play out there. He's taken over the point guard duties as a freshman. Has done a very, very solid job. He alternates with Eric Hayes at that spot. He the more volatile. Hayes the more stoic. There's Barr off to Curry. Recruited by a lot of schools, but they promised him playing time at Davidson. He didn't want to sit the bench or redshirt his first year, so that's why he is with the Wildcats. And haven't they been the beneficiary of that? Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you what. He looks baby-faced, but really pretty strong for a wiry-type body is Mr. Curry. Strawberry active on the defensive end for the Terrapins. All ACC defenses, Strawberry. As a matter of fact, in his early part of his career, 
Kev, at, the, at, at Maryland, he was thought of only as a defensive player. He's rounded out his game nicely. Had to play some point guard last year. Indeed, when McCray went down to academics. Curry again, shot clock at eight. Gobbled up by Barr. Here's Curry over Strawberry, who fouls him. That'll be three free throws coming up for Curry. A terrific free throw shooter. Strawberry picks up his first for the Terps. Well, the ball gets loose right here, but Curry's range is anywhere in the building, so they got to be conscious of him. And, of course, you don't like to ever see that if you're Gary Williams. Curry also very reliable from the stripe. How about those numbers, huh? 21 points a game as a freshman. And as we said before, set that freshman record of 117 made three-point shots, a single season high. He was the Southern Conference leading scorer and freshman of the year and taking the three shots here because of the foul in three-point territory by strawberry the senior from coronora california for the terrapins how about that baby face right up there yeah. <laughs> <laughs> young looking guy isn't he oh he really is i'll tell you what great to see him doing so well out there of course his dad was a great shooter as well we know that Davidson losing in the NCAA first round last season to Ohio State by eight. We told you they're the Southern Conference champions for a second consecutive season. Yeah, and remember Bob McKillop's son, Matt, one of the stars of that, and Brian Winter's son, Brendan, was one of the stars, and Kenny Grant. They were great. Strawberry. Bowers grabs it inside, took it away from Richards, and that's a Davidson foul in a congested lane. And it will go inside with, I think, Minnow picking it up. Let's see. Yep, number one on him. You would think that Maryland would have an advantage on the inside. Davidson not as athletic and not as strong. So here is Bowers from Hanover, Maryland at the free throw line. Big man that can yeah, shoot free throws. Pretty nice that? thing. Yeah, huh? nice little rotation on that. A lot of iron, but he's got... Both to go down. Now Bowers will check out. He was taking the place of Ibikwe, who is now back in, but playing with two fouls and more full court pressure. Dangerous situation right here. Ibikwe on the front of the press. Effective, but he's got two fouls. This is a foul situation. What about Vasquez and that steal and subsequent pass, but Strawberry couldn't get it to go. And here comes Davidson, led by Paulus Gosling. And now Richards. This is risky business for Gary Williams with a Beckway with two fouls. Archambeau nails the three. He is from Quebec, one of the top high school players coming out of Canada. Puts down the three. Davidson down by a point. The three everywhere for Davidson. When you have four guys in the game who can all make three stretches the defense, they can come back quickly. Davidson, the number three ranked mid-major team in college basketball. Here is freshman Eric Hayes, wide open inside of Beckway, who always seems to get free. I'll tell you, he moves well without the ball, doesn't he? Here's a long three-point shot, which does not drop for Minnow. He is also out of Paris. Was inside for Maryland. Paulus Goslin, guarded by Gist. Archambeau knocks down his second consecutive three-point shot. Davidson has tied it. The three-point shot, the great equalizer in college <laughs> basketball. Isn't it so? Archambeau had 19 against Missouri early in the year. He is very capable of making shots out there. Only a freshman. Interesting hairdo. <laughs> We mentioned that uh, We covered all on this broadcast. Huh? Hair, shoe size, everything. Huh? <laughs> Five different countries represented on Davidson's roster. Fortunately, some of those guys are from the United States as well. Dumfries, Virginia, the home of Eric Hayes, the freshman with the ball right now. Jones and Vasquez. And that's a foul inside. It looked like Thomas Sander was shoving pretty significantly on James Gist. And Sander picks up his first eight minutes into this first half. Gist, pretty invisible so far. Yeah. A very athletic player. They've taken away his game so far. Uh-oh, he got the ball in pretty good position, but Lovedale covered it up well for Davidson. Here is Jones. And the shot over Goslin won't go. Here comes Davidson. 
11 of their 15 shot attempts, Coach Wenzel, have been three points. Indeed. They are a team that loves that shot. Oh, hard foul. Vasquez tries it. Terrific play by junior Jason Richards. Davidson has a two-point lead. This young freshman, William Archambault, has come off the bench and gone 2-2 two two above the arc at the free throw line right now. Bob Wenzel is Jason Richards, who's not only a great player in, in, in scoring, but he is the number two assist man in all of college basketball. Averages 7.3 a game. How about that? I'd love to play with him. And you know, when they spread you out, because of the threat of the three, not only the shooting of the three, but the threat of the three, it leaves driving lanes open so a guy like Richards can take it to the basket even though he doesn't have the greatest quickness. Good point. Now, Maryland has great size. But Bob has been talking all first half about the three-point shooting at Davidson. They are plus 12 right now shooting threes over Maryland in this game. Four for 11. Maryland hasn't made one. Nice drive inside by Hayes, and he was facing the defense of Paulus Goslin for Davidson. Curry. Oh, what a pass inside as Curry lasers one in to Lovedale. Now Curry is struggling from the field, only one of four for Davidson. He's getting a lot of attention from Maryland. They're very aware of Curry's outside shooting prowess. Hayes with the basketball. Everybody thinks he is a Steve Blake clone, who was one of the great guards for Maryland on their championship team. Admired him. In fact, the poster's on his room uh, walls when he was growing up love blake here he is doing a three-point shot right here lovedale grabs it and after davidson coach started three of 12 now they're four to five shooting so they picked up some momentum the early tournament jitters are gone minnow inside can't hit the beckway strawberry against curry at the other end count it and a foul on curry and strawberry comes up with his fifth point on the fly. And the second strength basket by DJ. Fouled in the act earlier, again on this one. His size and strength too much right here for Curry. That is a very difficult shot. I like the emotion of Strawberry out here, don't you? I do, he's, he's been the leader of this team. Last couple years, you mentioned how the suspension thrust him into a point guard situation a year ago. But he's got that swagger, and that's what Gary Williams, the coach of the Terrapins, has been looking for. Osby is back in. They just took out a Beckway, did Maryland. Archambeau is at a couple of threes. Very unorthodox shooting style, too, for this kid. Yeah, a little fadeaway deal. That's going to be a foul, and it's going to be on Archambeau as he goes climbing into the defense of Mike Jones, and Archambeau picks up his first foul for Davidson. He's heated it up off the bench for them. You like to have a guy as a sixth man who can score. You get into any kind of situations where you're stalling out a little bit, he can come in and get it going quickly. Brings energy. Yes, indeed. Davidson is led by as many as four. Maryland is led by as many as five. Jones, good pass. Gist inside, sliding by Minow. First time you've mentioned Gist's name in this game. Look at the freshman Hayes with the steal. Gist again. Spoon feeds Jones. Osby with a good looking offensive rebound. Minnow is there to grab it for Davidson. Pace of the game very quick. You would think that the underdog would not like it, but they do like it. Archie. Davidson loves to go up and down the floor. Archambeau a little bit shy on that shot. Well, James Gish setting screens hasn't been involved in right here because his man went to help. He is the beneficiary on this one and an easy play for the athletic player. Davidson's made a change. Bryant Barr, a freshman, has just come in for Boris Minow. Do you think the Canadian guys play better because we're close to the border? Maybe. Only an hour and a half drive they, from here to <laughs> Toronto. A chilly and rainy Buffalo this afternoon with Bob Wenzel, Kevin Harlan. Gist. There he goes. He's got the mid-range game. What an athlete, too. He crashes boards. And that is a three, and that is doused outside by Bryant Barr, a freshman from Falmouth, Maine, a Mr. Basketball in the state of Maine. And that stopped a 6-0 Maryland run. That shot by Davidson in the hit. 
you mentioned they've won 25 out of their last 27 games. Isn't and that amazing? In many games, they've come from behind, so they don't get nervous or panic when they're behind. You're going to see the threes all day long from this group. Strawberry over bar. Here comes Jason Richards, number two assist man in college basketball. It's also good to have Curry to pass it to. You know, I yeah. can get a few assists playing with him. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> and the drive inside by Sander into Osby. Almost had his own miss and does reel it in. Curry for three. And Davidson has taken another lead of one. Approaching eight to play in the first half. Interesting. A muffed play and they get a three out of it. Curry's got nine. And it's kicked away at the other end by Lovedale. 13th seed Davidson against 4th seed Maryland. And they're staying with him because of Curry's outside shooting prowess. You can see Gary Williams unhappy that the young Stefan was wide open on that one. He's got nine points already in this one. There's a great story about him and his dad playing a game of horse the other day because uh, Stefan had never beaten his dad, Dell. Did he beat him this time? He did, yeah, for the first time. And, and, and there was media there to chronicle it, and a lot of people watching it. And the young Curry, who uh, has been just terrific, he is one of the top scorers in all of college basketball, number 10 coming into this tournament. That's pretty incredible. The MVP of the Southern Conference tournament as well. He's got nine points so far for the Wildcats of Davidson. When it was announced that he was the MVP, his mother Sonia went crazy cheering. And Dad just stood there, arms folded with a little smile. <laughs> Said he's got a few things to work on still. Hayes with a three and off balance one at that. And Bowers has come in and grabbed another offensive rebound. And out of bounds off the Terps. Maryland relying on their athleticism and press and getting layups. If you uh, trade three for two, you're going to lose. 18 to four, Maryland is beating Davidson in the paint, but on the board, it's Davidson by one. Very interesting contrast in styles, isn't it? Yeah, and fun to see, and 13th seed, another great pass, Curry got it this time, and the assist goes to Max Paulus Goslin from Quebec. Terrific backdoor play, they knew that pressure was coming. The antidote to pressure is backdoor play, nicely executed. Curry's got 11, and that time inside. Maryland is led by five. Davidson is led by as many as four. Look at the Curry defense working on Strawberry. And ahead it goes to Goslin. Richards, oh, what a pass to Minow. Caught it in a foul. Maryland just took a timeout. Davidson is led by as many as five. That's their lead right now. Gary Williams, Maryland. Terrapins have led by as many as five. That was a while ago. They were up 13 to eight. Boris Minow at the free throw line. I have not seen any jitters by either of these teams. Minow, as you see on that graphic, 23 years old as a junior. Lived in Paris, went to Northfield Mount Hermon Prep School in the United States. Vasquez, Beckway. Notice the red jerseys in the paint, trying to take away the inside game of Maryland. Sloughing help side defense by the Wildcats. Vasquez, the Beckway, Guest, Strawberry for three. Archambeau gathers it in. Now watch the transition game right here. Everybody at the three. Oh, what hesitation by Richards. Great hesitation move. And the reason the lane was open, everybody out at the three-point lane with their defender. It's not only the three-point shot, but the threat of it that helps your offense. Davidson has their biggest lead of the game right now. Jones a three with Archambeau covering. That's the first three for Maryland this afternoon versus seven for their counterparts in the red jerseys. Richards calls a timeout. Jones and Vasquez were there with Maryland defense. With Bob Wenzel, Kevin Harlan, Davidson by five. They are the 13th seed against the fourth seeded Terrapins of Maryland. 
and they've been doing it with the three-point shot. Excellent execution in the transition as well. Richards over a late arriving Vasquez on defense. A Beckway picks up the loose ball. Strawberry the other way. Gist with a screen. Jones with a three. Oh, baby. He is their best stroker from deep, and he needs to get involved. Big games recently, 25 at Duke. Curry for three. Over Strawberry, rebound by Jones. Vasquez, Gist at the other end. Oh, goaltending. And it's gonna count for two. Lovedale got a hand up there and knocked it away as now the Maryland Terrapins are on an eight nothing run. We've seen a 10 nothing run by Davidson, eight zip now by the Terps. And when the ball is up there, you cannot touch it obviously. A good goal, very entertaining game. Jones in backcourt picks up a foul for Maryland. You see a lot of droughts in this college game, don't we? And right now, Davidson going through one. Yeah, and, and basically because of the defense of Gary Williams and his crew. Jones is the guy for Gary Williams that needs to get hot from the perimeter. He's been very good the last month of the season. He is really their best and only outside shooter with great range. A school record 29 wins for Davidson this season. With Lovedale, a very strong athletic player at the line. Strawberry gets the miss for the Terrapins. Terps like to push it, so does Davidson. That's why we're seeing so many great plays out here. People shoot it quickly. Gist inside, lost the ball out of bounds. Another turnover, eight now for the Terps. Unusual, the Terps are usually a team that turns their opponents over and scores in transition. It's been just the opposite in this game so far. Oh, great steal by the ever-present Strawberry. So quick. Boy, what great anticipation, too. I thought that pass was going to get there. Acceleration at the end. Here comes Goslin. A 10-0 run by Davidson has been answered with a 10-0 run by Maryland. Oh, what a rejection inside by Ebekwe. Two on two, Strawberry pulling up over Curry. Gist tried to put it in. He shoved to get position and a Maryland foul. The Terps love the transition game, and when you shoot in transition, your athletes can go to the offensive boards. The left-handed block by Ebekwe. That is something to behold right there. He has two fouls also. Playing with some gusto with fouls. Gist picks up his second foul. No one with Maryland with three fouls. No one from Davidson has more than one foul. And Davidson, the Southern Conference champions, a 17-1 record. This small little school about, uh, what, uh, 20 miles outside of Charlotte, north. Coming in at 29 and four. There's Bowers checking back in for the Terps. And the Maryland Terrapins, the third place finisher in the ACC. 10 and six in the conference, 24 and eight overall going head to head. Maryland has led by as many as five. Davidson has led by as many as eight. I'll tell you what, it's been a great game. The three point shooting prowess very much involved in this game. Great three point shooting. For Davidson, they've knocked down six in 17 tries above the arc. And all different kinds. Archambault in off the transition is Barr. And then, of course, Curry on an inbounds play. They get threes in all different ways. It's not just one way of getting them. You've got to be at the line all the time. Here's a Curry two, a mid-range jump shot. His dad, Dell, played at Virginia Tech. For those of you just joining us, he now has a game-high 13 points for Davidson. Second leading freshman scorer in the country behind the great Kevin Durant. Pretty good company. Not bad. Strawberry on top picked up by Richards. Ibekwe moves into Minnow. Leaning and boy he is relentless oh, oh, oh. on the glass for the Terrapins. Isn't he? What great quickness for a 6'9 player. Curry a quick three. Oh right over the seven foot Bowers of Maryland. What Are a you shot. kidding me? <laughs> oh my goodness. 16 for Curry the 10th leading score in college basketball. Vasquez inside and on the fly makes it go hitting it over Thomas Sanders of Davidson. Archambeau for three. Rebound by Bowers. Under three to play in the first half. 
The good thing about playing Davidson is you don't have to guard them long. And they're going to launch pretty quickly. Ten rebound average uh, and advantage for Maryland in this game so far. And they have out-rebounded a lot of opponents this season. Curry and Strawberry. Red jerseys clogging the middle, Kevin. Shot clock at eight. Vasquez works on Archambault. And a rebound is pulled down there by Sander. He has five. Curry the other way. Into Strawberry and a foul. Well, it's very interesting in this game because we're seeing the dominance of Curry, who's got a game-high 16, and leading a brigade of 15-point advantage above the arc for Davidson. And inside, Maryland leading that by 14 points, points in the paint. And they've also out-rebounded Davidson by nine. And that's why we have a one-point game. And of course, 19 threes attempted by Davidson in the first half so far. Curry. It is raining threes. All over, all over. Curry has 12 of Davidson's last 18 points in this game. Vasquez, Strawberry, Osby is in there. Bowers is trying to get position on Lovedale, quickly picks up the double. This is Brown off the bench and knocks in a three for the Maryland Terrapins. They needed that one desperately. Paris. Davidson, I'm sorry, Kevin, is double teaming every time the ball goes to the post. They couldn't get that inside there with Sander. Parrish Brown has come in, just hits a three and takes it the other way for the Terrapins. Very quick, both teams. This is a fast-paced game, not only in the transition, but in the half-court area as well. And who does that favor? I think it favors Davidson, oddly enough. Lovedale picks it up. Here comes Barr. Does the athleticism of Davidson surprise you? Their quickness? Yes. They, you know, coming into the season, I thought that they would be a team that was not athletic. They're probably more athletic than most of the Davidson teams of recent vintage. Gary trying to get his guys to sit down. The officials saying they need to sit down. Curry with a travel. Turnover right there. And approaching a minute to play in the first half. I think that's his first mistake of the game. I think you're right. Davidson wants you to play fast also. They want you to shoot quick so they can shoot quickly. Seventh leading team in the country in scoring, 82 a game. They're on pace. See the double team immediately? Now you've got to make a play out of it. Let's see what Bowers does. Hits Osby, he finds himself with some room and that was too much room and he traveled. Exactly. The guys who are not handling the ball well seem to get the ball in those double team situations. And the trap is coming immediately. They're not waiting on anything. They we, give the diagonal pass. We've had six ties, 10 lead changes. Davidson is led by eight. Maryland is led by as many as five. Barr goes inside to Lovedale. Picked up by the seven-footer Bowers. Tough shot. Great hustle inside by Sander. Took a tough shot early in the game. Hitting his back hard on the floor. Came back in. Shot clock is at eight. I don't think Richards knows it. Now he looks back at the coach. McKillop has the sign. Got the green light. And Strawberry gets the loose ball. He's got five rebounds. He's been very good defensively in this game and has made a couple of three-point shots the old-fashioned way. Hayes against Richards. Nice rejection again. The second block shot inside by Andrew Lovedale from Nigeria. Also went to school in London during his high school career. We mentioned five different countries represented on the Davidson roster, and they all have to have high SATs, believe me. It's a tough school to get into. Hayes. Osby. Dribbling violation takes us to halftime. Curry started slowly, only one of four. Then he hit four of his last five and scored Davidson's last 12 points. He was absolutely terrific in that first half. Here is Minnow. And they've also got Richards with the ball. Sander with it. Curry is out there. And Paulus Goslin. There's a long range three which goes in. Our 11th lead change and Davidson by two. And now Curry has gone four of eight shooting the threes. 
Vasquez is out there. De Beckway, Jones, Gist, and with the ball right now is DJ Strawberry. Ibekwe finds a double, and you notice that late in the first half, what Davidson was doing on defense. Their double team of post has been very, very effective in this game. They are creating turnovers out of there when the ball does get out of the double team. And how about this? This is a 10 on the degree of difficulty scale, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> that is one tough shot. Now, Maryland began to hit their threes at the end of the half. They had started 0 of 5, and the Terps went three of three to finish off the first half above the arc. And Mike Jones made two of those. He's very, very good from there. Here comes Curry, wheeling around it Beckway, so he does it outside. That time he streams his way inside. The threat of the three is ever present. And because of that, you got to get up on him. And when you get up on him, he's quick enough to get past you, and they spread out. Turnover's the last handful of times. Maryland has had it. Jones tried to go inside, deflects off Davidson. 20 on the shot clock. Curry again. Right here, red jerseys all out at the three-point line. A nice little screen by Sander inside. Boy, they execute. DJ Strawberry. And that is a Davidson rebound. Rodgers, and they've got numbers four on two. Very patient on offense. Notice the red jerseys all on the perimeter except for Sander. He'll draw a single coverage. Sander over Gist. Great offensive rebound. Sander tries to power his way inside, something that Davidson has used with effectiveness, but not often. It's been their outside shooting game as our new audience joins us against the inside scoring of Maryland. And the reason that they are so effective inside when they get it, you have to defend the perimeter. So people who get the ball inside like Sander, really they're one-on-one -on -one in there. And if you got some moves, you can get either to the foul line or make a bucket. So Davidson, the number 13 seed in this Midwest Regional, 29 and four, 17 and one in the Southern Conference as Osby will come in for a big way who just picked up his third personal foul against the fourth seeded Terrapins of Maryland, 18th in the AP poll, fourth number four seed, 24 and eight, their overall record, third place in the ACC at 10 and six. We've had 11 lead changes and six ties. Jones on the fly, he leads the Terrapins with 10. And with the game high 23 is Stephen Curry, the sensational freshman for Davidson. He is out of Charlotte. Neither of these teams spend a lot of time with the shot clock. They get off shots quickly early in their offense. But it comes in the rhythm of their offense. Nothing is really pushed. No, and if they, need to be, if they need to be patient, they can. That time a quick shot, though, is hoisted by Strawberry. Curry, what a pass inside. Count it for two on a spectacular play by the freshman Stephen Curry. 9-0 Davidson run to start the second half. Maryland wants a time. Right now, this is one of the big stories in the tournament. Little zone, it looks like now, by Davidson. And a steal right out of that with a steal made on the play by Sander. Davidson plays like a European team. Matchup zone, use of the three in transition. Sander for three. Davidson now has started the second half, three of six. Maryland, oh, of three shooting. Another steal. Richards gets this, took it away from Jones. They are alert. Richards constantly with his head up. Curry to Sander, knocked out of bounds off Maryland. 25 seconds on the shot clock. Well, Curry is a guy that you got to be careful of at all times. You really could shadow him. Strawberry, their best defender on Curry now. I wouldn't be surprised if he just shadows him the whole game. Never get in help defense. Curry got away from Strawberry that time, but couldn't get it to go as he rammed his way into Osby. Vasquez, Strawberry, and now on top to Gist. Another turnover by Maryland. They're falling apart here at the beginning of the second half. Curry Slop around a screen, almost thought about a three. They've been sloppy at the offensive end for sure. Another three by Curry with a game high 23. Sander tried to get a hand on it. And there is Gist vacuuming it in. And he can vacuum, I'll tell you, but he hasn't <laughs> been present and accounted for in this game. Only took three shots in the first half, made all of them. He needs to get the ball a little more. Maryland, four turnovers. 
in seven possessions to begin this half. Vasquez, Jones, Strawberry, Gist. Quickly doubled as we've seen. Vasquez open for three. First time, Kevin, that they've passed out of the double team and made a good play. Showing some patience. Yes, indeed. Vasquez needs to move well without it. Passing out of that double can mean so much for the rest of your offense. What a matchup here. Strawberry, oh, a push off. Curry picks up the foul. Well, there's Del Curry and his wife, Sonia, and they, of course, are the parents of the guy that is stealing the show here in game one of the NCAA tournament, Stephen Curry, their son, taking a breather, a game high 23. He's knocked down four three point shots. He has been magnificent. And with the 13th seed Wildcats at Davidson, on top, the ACC fourth-seeded Maryland Terrapins, a major story in the making. Osby throws down the sledgehammer, working on Archambeau inside, who draws the foul for the Wildcats, his second. The double team ever present in this game, and right here, the second time they've done good things out of the double team. One heck of a pass over the top of the double team by Gist. Earlier, he hit Vasquez at the top of the key. Maryland's got to do more of that. Incidentally, 23 points in 22 minutes for Mr. Curry. Not bad. One point lead for Maryland at halftime. Osby completes the three point play. It's now a two point game and a contest that has contained 11 lead changes. Full court pressure right here. Richards, they break it easily. Hollis Goslin. Richards, a three, another one, and a rebound through the hands of Sander. A little shove there by Jones, and it is off of Maryland, and Davidson will inbound. Well, the ACC with seven teams in this NCAA tournament. And they deserved it. The last Southern team to win in the tournament, Chattanooga, way back a long time ago. Of course, the Southern Conference representative last year was this Davidson team, but totally different uh, personnel involved in that one. Sander is out. Curry is in. Quickly tees up a three. Lovedale almost controlled it inside for Davidson, but here comes Jones, who's been the leading scorer so far for the Terrapins. Vasquez for three. Osby picks it up with another offensive rebound. Jones with a triple. Rebound by Richards. Sometimes three-point shooting gets less at the end of the game because of legs. Not into it. Little dribbling violation right there. Carried the ball. And a turnover. Eight so far. For make it that is number nine so far for Davidson. 15 turnovers for Maryland. Maryland forces 17 a game. Nice knock away inside by Minnow. Rogers. Archambeau lost it on the dribble and lost the ball out of bounds. Maryland needs to settle down, get the ball inside to Gist for a double team, and then play through him. Shot clock has wound its way down to 10. Vasquez, Gist, rather uh, Osby inside, looking for the drive and some room, and he was fouled on his maneuver inside the paint. Foul goes on Lovedale, who picks up number two for the Wildcats of Davidson. Kevin, and I like what Vasquez has done the last couple of possessions. He's really taken control of the team. He wants the ball, he's getting him in their sets, he's being patient. He's a capable shooter, but that time driving to the basket. This young freshman from Venezuela showing some leadership when they need it most. Here's Osby, a transfer from New Mexico, where he said one of the great basketball experiences of his life there, talking about Osby at the line, is going up against Danny Granger every day in practice. Ah, he yes. was a freshman. Granger was a senior, and Osby said that helped him so much develop. Then he transfers after sitting out a year to the Terrapin program. I'll tell you what, you know, when you play against a great player like that in practice, you see what they can do. It makes you better, of course, and then you have to compete. If you're a competitor, it makes you better as well. The press has not been effective in turnovers at this end, but once they get it through, they've made some mistakes at the other end. The Beckway just picked up his fourth personal foul. If he indeed was charged, there was a quick double. Four on Ibekwe for the Maryland Terrapins as they are in the midst of an 8-0 run over Davidson right now, and we are in the midst of our seventh tie of the ballgame. 
Uh, Beckway being on the bench for Gary Williams is not a good sign. Of course, when you play the front of the press, you're likely to get more fouls because you're involved in trapping situations all of the time. They're going to put Strawberry on him most of the game, you can just think, from this point oh, on. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And, and if, if Strawberry doesn't take a shot the rest of the game and defends Curry well, he's done a good job. Archambault hit it, but folks, there was a terrific screen set up by Thomas Sander to open up the door. And Davidson by three. And Archambault is put in nine. All of his points have come above the arc this afternoon. Osby met by Minow. Bowers has come back in, taking the place of a Beckway, and they call a jump ball, tied it up, and it stays with the Terps. 13-20 in the game. I believe that Gary Williams will bring a Beckway back earlier than you would normally in a regular season game because if they lose, they're done for the season. So you don't want to keep him on the bench forever. Jones working around Archambault, launching a three. Osby just about had it. Reeled in by Strawberry, who will penetrate right into the jaws of that Davidson defense and a rebound by Minow. And down court, nice knockaway by Osby. Great defense by the big man running to defend the other end. Vasquez, what a play. Ginobili in Terrific. The freshman from Caracas, Venezuela. He played high school basketball, did Vasquez with Kevin Durant, the sensational freshman at Texas. And he learned how to pass to somebody, I guess. Who did, yes. <laughs> Here's Sanders, set a screen last time, digs his way in here. Vasquez picks it up. Leaking early was Jones and puts down the sledgehammer. Fatigue on the part of Davidson right now. They need a timeout. They're not calling one. Curry. That is a Maryland foul. Maryland has five players that average, average double figures in scoring, but only Jones has got double digits so far. He's got 12. Strawberry has nine. And on the Davidson side, only one score for the Wildcats in the last five minutes and 14 seconds of the second half. And Strawberry's been very effective on Curry. Great steal. Gist got the deflection and slides in for two. And now Maryland leads by three. They've led by as many as five. Richards takes it inside. He grinds it out. He's got 11. Careless ball handling the last three or four minutes for Davidson. Richard said, forget about that. I'm going to take it myself. Vasquez has been good, huh? Really Leadership. emerging at the point guard position is Vasquez for the Terps. Gist, good rebound by Minow inside. Rebounding in the game now. Plus 12 for Maryland, but seven for Minow. That was Gist's first shot of the second half. Strawberry the rebound. Davidson still scoreless over the last almost six minutes of the game. Look at Strawberry wind his way down. Gist over Minow. Sander tried to get it from Bowers. Oh, nice save by Richards on the baseline. The little guard for Davidson. The pace of the game has been very rapid. Up and down, when you go up and down four or five times without a whistle, fatigue sets in momentarily. Notice Curry's absence. Vasquez is on him now because Strawberry doesn't want to get fatigued for the offensive end. Strawberry knocked away inside by Sander. One point lead for the Maryland Terrapins, the number four seed over the 13 seed Wildcats of Davidson. Kevin, something significant. Curry scored 23 points, of course, and he has not scored in the last eight minutes. When Strawberry got determined on him, he has been shut down. Good point. They continue to double-team the post. Strawberry placed it inside. Gist got it back, goes inside, and travel. But Gary doesn't like that one. I didn't see any switch of pivot feet right here. This is just a good hustle play. Doesn't have possession. Maybe instantaneous decisions are a lot harder than those that you can see on replay, huh? Four times or not, you got it. Richards. Minnow. Gist is on him. 
This is a three, and he knocks that down. Another three, make it a two. He had a foot on the line. 13th lead change, Davidson by one. Vasquez. Osby leans in, fouled on the play. Looked like Minow tagged him. Osby has had a very nice entrance in this game, has come off the bench and been effective for the Terrapins. That's one heck of a pass by Vasquez on the penetration. And Osby has to be good because of the fact that Beckway's got four fouls and is on the bench. Osby's got nine since coming off the bench. It's been very interesting to see the outside-inside scoring of these two teams. Going out of bounds. Right now, Davidson plus 15 points, shooting the three. But Maryland is plus 22 points inside. Total contrast in style. Richards. Now Curry is getting picked up by Hayes on the far side for Maryland. That's a turnover for Davidson. They now have seven turnovers in the last six minutes. And the reason Hayes is on Curry now, he is fresh. Strawberry, they want to save him a little for offense. A fresh player on Curry is important. But they have cross matchups because Curry is watching Strawberry at the other end. Look at Osby, turn the corner and put it down. Going right by the defense of Lovedale of the Wildcats. He only averages six a game. Osby with a block. He has come off the bench with the Beckway and foul problems. Blocked two shots and been sensational with 11 points for Maryland. On the inside, the quick spin move to the baseline. Use the glass to soften your shot when you go hard. And a very next play, avoid the foul and block it. Wow. What a story he's become. Sander inside with the good inbound pass. Nice execution of special situations. Sander, one of eight from the field. That was his first field goal of the afternoon. He is such a tall kid, too, in Davidson terms. Yes, yes, indeed. Which is not very tall overall. <laughs> you know what, though? I'm surprised at their physicality. They're pretty tough. Osby to Gist. Oh. Osby has got assists. He's got a couple block shots. He's got 11 off the bench. He has been everywhere. Career game for him. And on the night where they need it, a Beckway with four. And Minow working his way into Osby. Nice spinning hook. Minow's got game. He's got nine, too. Averages 11 on the year. Matchup zone. Vasquez, Strawberry, Hayes, the freshman. Notice the red jerseys in the paint. Strawberry for three. That is a big time triple. A three point hit. Strawberry with now 12 points. His first three. Richards inside can't get it. Another rebound by Osby. He's collected five. They've got numbers. Hayes to Strawberry. Wisely pulls it out. Good head by Strawberry. The two down play. Notice the visual signal by Vasquez. Sometimes arenas get too loud, they can't hear the point guard. We need visual signals. Osby is really gasping for air right now as Curry gets tripped up and travels. 10 for 28 from three-point range for Davidson. They took 19 in the first half. The reason they've fallen down is Curry has not been effective. He has not scored in the last 11 minutes. Credit Strawberry's defense. And Ibekwe to Bowers. The Beckway again with a couple different tries. Maryland gets that to crawl in. Seven and a half to play. Maryland now has their biggest lead, 69-63. Interestingly enough, Davidson has not played in very many close games this year. Here's a Bryant Barr long-range shot. Bowers picks up the rebound. Hayes is now in there. Kevin, and when you don't play in close games, they played a close game in the Southern Conference Tournament, the championship game against College of Charleston. But other than that, they've been blowing people out by 15, 20. They've only had two games of seven in the last 12 games they've played. So they're not used to the tight situations. Vasquez for three. Rebound is taken down by Andrew Lovedale. 
And now Richards into Vasquez, swerving. Jones picks up the rebound, tied up with the point guard, Richards. Six and a half to play in the second half. That is hard breathing right there by Curry. He's got a young body and he's got a young system right there. Hasn't scored in the last 12 minutes. Cardiovascular system on overload. Over Strawberry at three. Another one put in by the sensational freshman Curry. 26 in the game. He's 5 of 11 putting in triples today. What a performance in the NCAA tournament on this stage. Great to see. He also celebrates more on his passes than he does his shots. He loves it. Did he step out of bounds? He did on that baseline where there is not a lot of room. That's another turnover. 19 now for Gary Williams and the Terrapins, and 15 make it 14 for Davidson. A lot of freshman guards in this game, although Richards with the ball, a junior, very experienced. Curry to Richards for three. Archambault tried to knock it away, and Jones comes up with it for the Terps. Here comes Hayes. And Strawberry coming off a screen by a Bickway little pick and roll inside of the big man. How did he get that through? How did he get, how did Bickway get free with two guys tailing him inside? What a pass. Archambault came off the bench at a couple threes in the first half. Misses another one right there and he has grown cold. Five and a half left. Your shot from deep loses accuracy as the game goes on because your legs are tired. Yeah, Pace has definitely slowed here. They're looking for Bowers. He's tangling with Sander. Strawberry left open. Curry late with the D. A missed three right there. It's an offensive rebound. It's picked up by a big way. Maryland offensive rebounding this afternoon has been terrific. 16 of their 46 rebounds have been off the offensive glass. They get after it. Right now they're tired though. You can see it in the players. They're standing straight up. Nice dive and it's out of bounds. A turnover right there. Watch it back way, but as, as Coach Wenzel says, watch the pass that got him inside and somehow he gets it. He, unbelievable, right between three guys. This is a great vision on the part of Strawberry. He could be in one of your NFL games, Kevin. <laughs> he could. Looking at the third receiver. Strawberry has 12, four Terrapins and double figures right now. 26 a game high by Curry. Richards with it, he has 11 and six assists. Curry got the screen from Sander with another three. Minow tried to tap it. Jones comes up with it. Strawberry with the early offense at the other end and Jones and Hayes. Gary saying, calm down guys, calm down. Tap the face play, they want to get it inside. High pick and roll. Minnow following Hayes on a quick trap. Osby back in, throws it away. Sander got it. And now they got Goslin feeding over to Richards. Strawberry was wide open underneath the basket for the lob. Weak pass by Osby. Oh, it's Goslin. Minnow. Another rebound. Strawberry claims that. Maryland comes the other way, Bob Wenzel, but they've turned it over three consecutive times. And part of that is fatigue, too. They're trying to make accurate passes while they're pressured. Can't do it. Hayes tried to go inside. Curry makes the steal. He's by himself, though. They'll take it into Hayes and find two. Maryland is out rebounded Davidson by 18. They've scored 24 points more in the paint than the Wildcats. Davidson has been hanging on to 15 point advantage above the arc. All right, Bob, we're getting down to the almost the three minute mark of this game. Maryland has to handle the ball much better. They're turning the ball over a lot lately. That kind of pass is gonna lose them a game. They've gotta be more precise with their offense. In the half court sets, you can count on Curry taking most of the shots, the offense going through him for Davidson. Shot clock is down to nine. They tried to sneak it inside. It's off of Davidson, shot clock at eight. Speaking of turnovers for Maryland, 22 this afternoon. That is the most in the last 15 games. And at one time, they were a team that was not thought to be in the running for the NCAA tournament bid at all. Won seven out of their last eight and got in it. Shot clock is down to six. Vasquez, nice screen by Gist over Minnow. Inside Gist. Ibekwe with another rebound. And fouled as he tried to grind his way inside. And Curry... 
picks up the foul for Davidson. Well, the advantage for Maryland going into this game is their athleticism on the boards. And right here, Gist and Abekwe show why that is the case. They got after it on the board. They had some rest, too. Both were out for a few minutes. Both back in now, Osby and Bowers to the bench. So the starters in for the last minutes. Maryland has three team fouls, and Davidson now has six team fouls. Rebounding advantage of 20 for the Terrapins. Let's see if Strawberry is on Curry on this possession. He will have to battle through screens. Curry's got a game high, 28th the freshman for Davidson. Top 10 score in all of college basketball, D1. Don't forget Richards is driving to the right. Goes that way very well. Curry for two. Rebound by Ibekwe, who got an early foul trouble, but has really strung out his game battling those foul problems. And Gary's done a good job of keeping him on the bench and then back in. You take, you put your guy back in earlier in the NCAA tournament, because it's either do or die. These passes make, make me nervous right here, I'll tell you. <laughs> well, they've turned it over 22 times. I think they're making Gary nervous as well. Here's Jones for three. Oh, a big hit. A gigantic three-point shot. And Maryland on top, 75-68. Richards, biggest lead now for the Terrapins. Ibekwe almost knocked it away. Minnow tried to save it. Curry. Knocked away, sloppy pass, and here comes Maryland. Moments ago, they just got a big-time triple from Jones, and he puts the Terrapins up 75-68. The right guy at the right time. They had turned the ball over four out of five possessions, came up big. Jones drawing a crowd. Curry comes up with it. He's hit five threes this afternoon over Strawberry. Rebound by Minnow inside. A fresh shot clock and Richards for the triple. Offensive rebound by Curry into the much taller Ibikwe. No foul. A shove. Finally it comes. What about a travel? He was moving his feet too. He Could was have been a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> he was moving his feet because he not got knocked down right inside. A little body action. Curry has some guts, doesn't he? Wow. Ibikwe number five for the Terrapins. Well, normally you would say this is a disastrous situation with a Beckway going out with five fouls, but Osby has been spectacular, has played the best game of his career in this one. Halfway through this season in the ACC, Maryland was really staggered. There was thoughts that they wouldn't do anything in the postseason with not a single invitation. Well, at one point they were two and five, and that's what you're talking about. They went to Florida State and lost. They thought they weren't in, but then they won eight out of their last 10 games. Osby back in, Kevin. He's been very, very good in this one, and that guy has been spectacular. That is Curry, the freshman from Charlotte, All-State High School player there. Knocks it down, his dad, Del Curry, the former great at Virginia Tech, is in the audience, and there is our reset with timeouts and fouls. Six of six from the line for Stephen Curry. And a Davidson timeout. What we're gonna see right here is no one guarding the ball on the inbound. Well, now they're changing it. Pressure on the inbounder. They're gonna try to trap, get a steal, and then foul. And they had just brought in David Neal, who is a sophomore from McLean, Virginia. He joined the team as a walk-on a couple years ago, and the foul goes on Paulus Goslin. Well, Abekwe has fouled out, and what a great career that man has had last year. Tested the NBA waters, decided to come back to Maryland, and he's been a force. So David Neal is at the free throw line, only freshman on the Maryland roster a season ago. And he hits the first. We've been talking so much about Bambale Osby. Freshman here at New Mexico, went to junior college in Paris, Texas, and he was spotted by a former Maryland assistant when that team was at the final four of the junior colleges in the country. That's how he found his way to Maryland. 
Well, yeah. it is, and Gary Williams happy about that as Gist will check back in. Well, Neal, pressure free throws for sure. How about that? Sitting on the bench the whole game, comes in, and the NCAA tournament makes his free throws. Here's Curry working around Strawberry. Got a screen from Minnow. And Archambeau picks it up. Here is Curry again. And tip out of bounds by Sander. It'll be Maryland's ball, 48 seconds remaining in a seven-point Terrapin lead. Man, this has been a great, great game. Davidson still has opportunity right here. Long time right here. They need to get a turnover. Davidson has gone only two of their last 14 from three-point territory. That was their bread and butter back in the first half. Building a lead as high as eight. That is when they needed this kid the most, and he answered in the second half. He produced, Kevin, and, and I'll tell you, in the first half as well, when, when Abekwe had two fouls in the first four minutes of the game, he really held them together. Fine play by Osby. Vasquez hits the free throw. And again, we mentioned this earlier, but his emergence at point guard has been huge for the Terrapins this season. They had trouble at that spot last year. Strawberry had to play it. Unfamiliar. Archambeau launches a three. Picked up by Vasquez. Gist the other way. As they hold on to it, and a quick foul goes on Jason Richards. And he picks up another foul. So they will put Gist at the line for the Terrapins. Last year, Strawberry having to play the point guard position. Maryland not in the NCAA tournament. Vasquez in this year. Vasquez in this year. They are in the tournament, so big difference. The value of that spot. Well, coming up next here will be Old Dominion against Butler. Now, isn't it interesting if Maryland goes on to win this game, and now their lead is at 10, the biggest this afternoon, taking on another mid-major. And it will be either Butler or Old Dominion. An interesting thing. Butler usually a low seed. This year they have a great seed, so highly unusual. They'll be wearing the white jerseys instead of the visiting jerseys in this one. Osby checks out, and his performance in the second half with nine points, a couple of blocks, a couple of assists, and a couple of steals was huge for Maryland as he paves the way for an entry into the round of 32. Maryland had all they could handle with Davidson. The Southern Conference champions played excellent basketball, accorded themselves very well. Last year at this time, Davidson had lost to Ohio State 70-62. A totally different roster for Bob McKillop, but these Wildcats have a lot to be proud of. 29 wins on the year, and Mr. McKillop, the senator, has done a wonderful job there. Fouling out is Curry, and a standing ovation from the entire building. First young freshman, Stephen Curry of Davidson. What a great debut on a national stage for this kid with the stroke just like his father. 9-2 run so far by Maryland. Closing out this game as Davidson has got nothing to fall from the field in over three minutes. It's amazing that Curry, in his body language, celebrates more when he makes an assist than when he makes baskets. Maybe because the assists are fewer, huh? I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> I'll tell you what, he can get his shot off quickly. You know, at times like this, you think of the seniors because the seniors are playing truly their last college basketball game. Indeed you do. And Abekwe, of course, will play another game on Saturday. Richards with the three. Vasquez has it. And the Maryland Terrapins will advance. They beat Davidson this afternoon, and it was a very competitive game between 13th seeded Davidson and the fourth seed Maryland Terrapins.